Hello guys, I am Yasir Ali. Here in this tutorial, we will discuss hydraulic system in a coil tubing power pack. And for the explanation purpose, we will consider and we will discuss hydra rig model of power pack. So let's start our discussion with the introduction that in our tutorial series of introduction to coil tubing equipment, we have already discussed that almost 90% working of a coil tubing unit is based on hydraulic power. And to produce and distribute the required hydraulic power, a state of the art hydraulic system is installed in each and every coil tubing unit. No matter from which company we are using, it will have a fully established, fully developed, and fully integrated hydraulic system installed in it. To understand the hydraulic system of any coil tubing unit, we can take the help of this below given flow diagram. So to understand the production, distribution and utilization of hydraulic power within a coil tubing unit, we can divide the coil tubing unit into these three sections and then can understand. So the first section is power pack. In the power pack, hydraulic power will be generated. Then this produced hydraulic power will be controlled and monitored with the help of control console or control cabin. And then this power will be transmitted to the required component which need drive for example coil tubing reel coil tubing bop injector head or any other component which need drive or which need power that power will be transmitted to that particular component so simply in the power pack hydraulic power will be generated this power will be controlled and monitored with the help of control cabin and this power will be utilized at the end component that is coil tubing reel bop injector head etc so this is the linkage between the hydraulic power production, monitoring, control and utilization. So hydraulic power generation in coil tubing power pack that how the hydraulic power is generated in a coil tubing power pack. We have already discussed that coil hydraulic power is generated in the power pack. So how that power is generated we will see in this particular slide. To understand the generation of hydraulic power we can take the help from these diagrams so the in each and every power pack there is a diesel engine and there is also a gearbox and then a system of hydraulic pumps this diesel engine will produce mechanical energy by converting the chemical energy of the diesel so it will produce a mechanical energy or we can say that the rotational energy of the flywheel this rotational energy will then be transferred to these hydraulic pumps. This is the other view of these hydraulic pumps with the help of these gearbox. Because this flywheel will have one rotation, so to convert this one rotation to multiple pumps, we use gearbox. Okay, so the mechanical energy of the engine will be transferred to these hydraulic pumps. This is the other view, as I already mentioned, will be transferred to these hydraulic pumps will be used to drive these hydraulic pumps with the help of this gear box so in this way hydraulic power will be generated to diesel engine will produce mechanical energy or rotational energy by converting chemical energy of the diesel into rotational energy then this gear box will drive more than one pumps more than one hydraulic pumps and in case of hydraulic three main pumps will be driven through through this gear box and then these hydraulic pumps will produce hydraulic energy by converting a mechanical energy into hydraulic energy so in this way this system will work diesel engine will produce mechanical power or rotational power then gear box will provide this mechanical power or rotational power to drive these hydraulic pumps and then these hydraulic pumps will produce hydraulic energy or hydraulic power which is required for the running of coil tubing unit so as we have already seen that the core of the hydraulic power generation in power pack are the hydraulic pumps so we'll discuss these hydraulic pumps or system of hydraulic pumps in much detail system of hydraulic pumps in hydraulic power pack composed of three drive stations that is three main pumps are installed as we have already seen in this picture we can see that this is the gearbox and in the other picture this is the gearbox so these are three pumps three main pumps one two and three we all will also see in the next slide 
सो दीज थ्री पंप आर गिवन ओवर हेयर डबल वेन पंप पिस्टन पंप एंड ट्रिपल वेन पंप दिस डबल वेन पंप हैव टू डिस्चार्ज आउटलेट दैट इज टू पंप टू फीड बी ओ पी एंड ऑक्जिलरी सर्किट दिस पंप हैव ओनली वन बॉडी बट दिस पंप हैव टू डिस्चार्ज एंड ईच डिस्चार्ज इज एक्टिंग एज ए सिंगल पंप सो दिस डबल वेन पंप विल प्रोवाइड फीड टू टू हाइड्रोलिक सर्किट दैट इज बी ओ पी सर्किट एंड ऑक्जिलरी सर्किट सो दिस डबल वेन पंप विल प्रोवाइड टू पंप सोर्सेज दैट इज बी ओ पी पंप एंड ऑक्जिलरी पंप देन पिस्टन पंप विल प्रोवाइड ड्राइव टू द इंजेक्टर सर्किट एंड द ट्रिपल वेन पंप हैव थ्री डिस्चार्ज आउटलेट्स दैट इज थ्री पंप टू फीड प्रायोरिटी लेवल वाइंड ओवरइड एंड रील सर्किट That is this triple vein pump, which is a single body, will have three outlet. Each outlet will use f- as priority pump, level one override pump, and reel pump. We'll see this discussion in this particular diagram, as we have seen in our previous slide. So this pump, which is shown at this bottom, is a double vein pump. This one is the piston pump, double vein pump f- to drive BOP and auxiliary circuit, piston pump to drive injector circuit. and then there is a third pump which is triple vein pump to provide feed to priority level wind override and reel circuit this level wind override is one pump okay we'll discuss all these pumps one by one in our upcoming tutorials so that was the discussion of uh, this tutorial we'll summarize what we have learned in this particular tutorial so we have learned that hydraulic system is the core of coil tubing unit has 90% working of a coil tubing unit is carried out using hydraulic power the required hydraulic power is produced in power pack below steps are involved in production of hydraulic power diesel engine produces mechanical energy that is rotation of flywheel gearbox drive three hydraulic pumps from single flywheel hydraulic pumps then produce the required hydraulic energy there are three drive stations in hydraulic power pack double vein pump which provide feed to bop and auxiliary hydraulic circuits piston pump which provide feed to injector hydraulic circuit triple vein pump which provide feed to priority level wind override and reel hydraulic circuits there are total 6 hydraulic circuits in coil tubing power pack which we will discuss in detail in our next tutorials so that was the discussion for this particular tutorial thank you very much for watching see you in the next tutorial